Hello my sweet friends, how are you doing? I'm so happy to say that now we are a big family of 1000 subscribers plus me so we are 1001 and uh, that makes me really happy thank you so much for your support which means everything I have this little project pre-made which I'm gonna give you for free at the end of the video but this is just the start I call it uh, Alien VHS because it kind of reminds me of alien colors like you know yeah just that oh yeah let's just change my shirt real quick perfect let's go further so the, I attached this just color just to give it a little, little bit of um, saturation etc but the basic effect is this so Let's turn this off a second. Yeah, so this is the main effect. I call it night vision. And you have this kind of VHS lines. And uh, it's no texture attached. And how I made it is just simply like this, experimenting. So we have a vertex attribute in local position. Because if you use the others you're gonna get um, complaining just like this as you see and and so just to this effect just keep it this way then if you want you can experiment then I attach the fragment stage and then a sign that goes into a mix to give it a little bit of color and then to kind of adjust the opacity as you can see of the overall effect and uh, and I give it a color this color specifically because if you change color from here see you're gonna get like little squares around I don't know exactly why if you go with red you, you can kind of have this vertical and then if you go here on the green you get horizontal and then probably with blue we get something yeah those are the option unless you like this kind of the squares but I'm gonna go with green and uh, so we have this and a cool thing we can do if we don't like this color but we like this effect so the line to be horizontal etc uh, we can attach an adjust color shader and so connect it from here into texture and then go into the output and uh, what what you can do to change color is just change the value inside the hue so if 0.4 to get the same effect but different tonality and so on and of course you can just attach your loop animation with the screen tap uh, feature just into hue and have it looping around when you touch on the screen just like that and if you touch on the screen again it's gonna stop in a different color it's kind of could be cool and of course you can adjust the saturation something more or less etc and you can invert it as you know and uh, so yeah that's it for this part then I've attached a little um, a new rectangle let's call this frame to have just an a nice frame around and uh, let's turn it on kind of mimic uh, the old camera style picture and uh, I've attached the material let's rename those material because I want to give you a cool project organized so it's a nice vision material and then we have frame material I've made this frame 
Uh, as you can see, I have a material on flat and I clicked on texture and I attached it to an SDF rectangle because I wanted this rectangle to be smaller and then into a step that goes into a mix with these values. If I go something more like 09, you can see it's now uh, it's now being obscured, it's darker. If you go more towards zero, you're gonna get less opacity. I kind of like it in the middle this way. And uh, so yeah, this is how I balanced the SDF rectangle to be, and if you turn it this way, to be a little bit just look like a rectangle actually so it's a little bit more it's 375 on the y axis and 345 on the x and uh, so i have this material on alpha and the first one night vision is on multiply if you change the the blend mode you get different results of course I liked it in multiply and I, I personally like it the, the green alien color but it's up to you all right so that was it for today's special thank you for tuning in to alien TV remember to download the project and have a look around experiment with colors settings and all your all your tricks and uh, yeah see you on the next tutorial coming real soon thank you